So my first makeup tip is the simplest one. It's to apply chapstick before you apply your foundation and anything else. It's just going to really help moisturize your lips by the end of your makeup when you're applying your lipstick. Moving on to foundation. Another tip when you're applying your foundation is to, I like to um, use my finger and then kind of like blend it out like this spread it out and kind of blend it out before I go in with my beauty blender or my brush because if I just like kind of apply a dot over it sometimes I have a bit of spots that I missed or it looks a bit patchy this just helps you um, spread out the product more evenly and this actually does really make a big difference in how my foundations look. Start from the center and then naturally spread it out to the side of your face. You don't need to necessarily really fully fully cover the sides of your face because that's just going to make your face appear whiter and bigger and you're also going to be applying bronzer and contour later anyways. I'm going to use my Rare Beauty foundation brush to blend everything out. Blend first the center. Now I'm going to blend out the side of my face with the remaining residue on the brush and a little bit from the center. And moving on to concealing under my eyes, I'm going to color correct with Fenty Beauty's Rose Quartz Match Sticks um, to really conceal my dark circle and brighten my under eyes. To blend this out, I'm going to go back to my foundation brush. Using the foundation brush, um, the residue of the foundation on the brush will help the color corrector to not stand out too much from the rest of my face. So using this is going to help neutralize that. And make sure to lightly tap under your eyes. I make the mistake of like dragging my under eyes to blend things out. It's going to help you from having a saggy under eye in the near future. So be careful on that. I'm going to move on to concealer. I just like to draw a little line on the area that's mainly a little bit like purple and bluish. I don't really like to powder my whole face, but the areas that I like to powder is on my forehead and then also on my eyelid a little bit so that my eyeshadow and eyeliner kind of stays on later and then maybe on my chin so the next makeup tip that I have is this one is especially for the people who have kind of like a closed eye like mine I have a monolid and the end like the bottom of my eyes look a bit closed up so in order to open that up I'm going to get a light contour powder like this shade or any like kind of pinkish shade and apply it under my eyes and especially focus on the outer corner of my under eye and that's just going to help bring a subtle attention to your eyes and help open it up. Um, be careful not to apply too much because I can do the opposite effect of making your eyes look a bit closed up. So I'm going to get this fluff brush and I'm going to use the lighter contour powder. I'm going to mainly focus on the outer corner and also a little bit on the bottom in the center like this 
just kind of open the bottom of my eyes. If you're going to draw your winged eyeliner or cat eye with a liquid eyeliner, my best advice is to get a light brown eyeshadow. One of my favorite um, brush, it's this flat like eyeliner brush and I'm going to use the light brown shade to create a guideline before I draw my uh, winged liner. It's kind of like pre-drawing your liquid eyeliner. And I'm going to get my liquid eyeliner, shake it up, and then follow the line and fill it in. When you're using a liquid eyeliner, make sure to shade in your upper lash line and also slightly on the waterline so that you wouldn't have like a weird gap between your eyeline and your eye. If you don't shade that in, it kind of just looks like your eyeliner is just laying on your eyes awkwardly, not naturally. Next tip, go back to the brush and the brown shadow and kind of like reshape it in a way I want to and also like outline the black eyeline so that it'll look more, I guess like softer and just outline it. And yeah, it kind of softened the eyeline and I was able to reshape it in a way that I wanted. My tip for contouring is kind of go little at a time. Like you can always darken the places after you lightly apply it if you feel like it's needed. So go little by little. And for nose, I just draw a little dot at the tip over here. And I know some people apply and draw a whole line of contour starting from their brows to the tip of the nose to give it a slimming illusion. But if you do that, it's easier to kind of mess up because you'll have a really harsh line no matter how well you blend it. I feel like that is kind of what makeup artists, professional makeup artists do well. So I blend it out and then with the residue on my brush, I draw a small line at the tip to slim it down. I don't need to draw a whole line across my nose. I mean, some of you guys might be really good at it and a lot of makeup artists are pro at it, but I feel like this is a safer route and it does still slim down your nose. And it keeps your nose look like a bit natural, I guess. Get the concealer brush and it has a little bit of concealer on the brush. And I like to just tap on the line very lightly so I wouldn't get rid of the whole thing. But this just helps me get rid of the extremely harsh line. And the same goes for the rest of the face contouring, I want to especially focus slimming down the corner of my jaw. So I just apply a bit of contour over here and over here, and then I'll blend it out all the way to the chin. Then I'm going to shade my chin and the double chin area. And then with the remaining residue on the brush, I'm going to shade the rest of my face. I 
I'm going to finish it off with my blush and a lipstick. I'm going to apply my MAC lipstick in the shade Teddy 2.0 and my chapstick is all dried up by now and my lip is ready and very moisturized so it applies perfectly. I don't have chap lips or cracks on my lips thanks to the chapstick that I applied in the beginning of the makeup. So this is basically how I do my makeup every day. Um, I hope some of my makeup tips were able to help you guys out in any way. Um, it was really hard like delivering the message and explaining in a clear way. So I hope you guys were able to at least understand some. I hope my point came across. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.